Hi, Us Weekly, it's Jeffrey Zakarian, host of The Kitchen on Food Network, and you are in my kitchen. And by the way, my sous chefs and my lovely daughters, Anna and Madeline Zakarian, are here to cook up, cook up something really special. Let me show you around. This is what I call my piano. It's like where everything happens. I play my music, which is food, and I have a beautiful range here. I love to just hang out here. This is my safe space. Right, I have a big oven, I have a small oven, I have a pizza oven in there. Uh, my, my cast iron cookware that's non-stick, I am ready to go at all times. But, we have a recipe to cook. So girls, what are we doing today? We are making build your own chicken tacos oh. for you. For a little me. special treat for Father's Day. Oh, thank you. Well, let's go. What do you need me to do? Let's let's start. Okay, Anna, start. Yeah, with I'm gonna smoke. make some um, smoked paprika. Mmm, smells great, powder, guys. Onion powder, chili powder, cumin, garlic powder, and salt together. And what's great about all this is everything here is in the pantry. This is a, like a pantry raid. Very simple, and like you can see, kids can do this really easy. This isn't a family recipe. This is just something we just invented because we love tacos and quesadillas, so. I love tacos. Yeah, yeah, I do too. I can eat them all day long. And while she's mixing, let me show you the toppings we just sort of pulled out. We have some fresh lime, we have cilantro, we made a mango salsa, a pico de gallo, we have red cabbage, regular cabbage, shredded cheese, and guacamole. There are so many toppings, but this is what we're gonna do first. Okay, what next? Uh, should we get going on the tacos? Yes. All right, so Madeline is gonna, what are you gonna do, Maddie? So I, um, this is, this is like, this is how you get a perfect Sasha taco. I always put the corn tortillas over the open flame. You just leave them on 30 seconds, maybe 15 seconds on each side, and they get this really nice mm. charred. I really love those. That's really what it does. It sort of wakes up the taco. You know, the tortilla's already cooked, but it just sort of wakes it up so it's not so dry. And when you eat it, it gets a nice oh, charge. Wow, that looks great. Okay, that's a great job. So you look at the spice mixture that Anna has done. Again, cumin, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. Oh, amazing. Mm. Chicken tenders. I bought them just like it is. You can buy them frozen. We're going to put a little olive oil on them. The oven's at 400 degrees. Preheat your, uh, your oven so it's really, really hot. So, you wanna dump that in? Okay. This is the fun part. You have clean hands, you get right in there and just stir it around. I wanna add some more olive oil to this, uh, Anna? Yeah. Thank you. Mmm, so it's a very simple recipe. Basically, all that garnish you could do the day before. You can even buy some of the garnish. Thanks, sweetie. Okay, we're gonna get that in there. Make sure it's nice and coated. You can actually marinate this if you want in a nice uh, zip top bag. Put it on a sheet tray just like this, about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, if you wanna test the chicken with the thermometer, you can. It should read 160 degrees. That is a perfect, perfect, fully cooked chicken that won't be dry. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands, and I think we have one that's already ready to go. Let me, let me put this in the oven. Excuse me, darling. Oh. Oh, look at that. Does that smell good? I think we should make a taco. Mm -hmm. Maddie, you have any um, have any uh, tacos ready to go? Uh-huh, I sure do. Okay, let's go. Let's uh, let's turn around here and make a taco. Grab a plate, guys. It doesn't really matter what you do with a, a taco. It's just go go for it. So what do you want on yours? Want anything on the bottom? Some avocado? I like maybe? to put my avocado first. Avocado first? Same. Same? Okay. And then I do the chicken. Do you want chicken? Yeah. Chicken, anything else on it? Uh, like lettuce cilantro. on Cilantro. Some lettuce, some cilantro, okay. I'll do some cheese. Okay. And I'll do some mango pico de gallo, I think. Mango pico, mango pico de gallo, wow. Both. Yeah. This looks delicious. And uh, you know, Father's Day is one of my favorite days because I get treated really well. <laughs> I always get treated well, but extra special well on this day. All right, guys, I'm gonna make one myself. Bon appetit. Thank you, Us Weekly. Have a great Father's Day. Cheers.